Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for the day and week ending Friday, October the 12th, 2018. Well, let's take a look and see how these uh, markets ended up uh, Friday and for the week. Uh, it was another crazy, uh, wild day on Wall Street today, but uh, let's take a look and uh, see how each of the uh, indices did that we follow. Starting with the Qs, and uh, you know, we, we had a nice gap up, and then we had a major pullback, but then closing... Uh, you know, uh, positive for the day, very nice uh, recovery. So, uh, you know, if we can, uh, you know, uh, you know, improve on this next week, we'll be in great shape. You can see here we bounced off of the 50 on the weekly, and uh, we still got to get back up through the 20. So, uh, considering uh, what happened, uh, nice ending for the Qs. Now we'll take a look at the spiders and see how they uh, made out for the week here. And uh, there you go. We and I do use the think or swim uh, charting uh, for the weekly review. And you can see here we started the week out, and then you know just a wild ride here. Uh, you know on the weekly chart we did break through the 50, but we are now closed above it. Uh, we have a ways to go to get to the 20. On the daily, you know we uh, opened. Uh, pulled back and then almost made it back to where we opened at so uh you know what once again if we can uh you know trade above this on monday that'll be a very positive sign uh we'll have to see what happens over the weekend a lot of time between now and then the diamonds we had pretty much the same story uh you know opened up but with the gap up pulled back and then made it almost back to where uh they they opened at and once again, you can see we bounced off of the uh, 50, uh, you know, uh, SMA, and we are just about to the 20, if you look real close there. And so, uh, you know, uh, you know, nice recovery there as well. IWM, uh, it didn't necessarily do quite as good. We did have the gap up, pulled back uh, real hard. And made it back up just above where yesterday closed. So they all the indices ended in the positive. IWM barely making it uh, back, uh, and you can see we are still below the 50 on there. We had uh, a lot of volume, so it might be interesting uh, to, to keep an eye on this one, especially to see how it ends up. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at Holly and see how she closed the day and the week out. Holly Grill had three trades for a profit of one penny her risk one profit was 60 cents holly 2.0 had 10 trades a dollar for profit 214 was the risk one profit holly neo had 15 trades lost a dollar 43 but the risk on profit was 69 cents. And you can see here, uh, she made that all in the last uh, little bit as the uh, market had that nice recovery towards the end of the day. So the way it boiled down to, we had 28 trades today for a loss of 38 cents, $3.43 risk on profit. For the week, 216 trades, $3.71 profit. And 23.79 was the uh, risk on profit for the week. So uh, in spite of the turbulent week, Holly had a very, very uh, good day. Now we'll go ahead and take a look and see if there was any, uh, you know, uh, noteworthy trades within these. And we're in the NEO right now. Uh, and just to, to remind you, you can look over here and we have all three of the Hollies uh, listed and uh, it tells you there was 15 trades none open and the risk on profit was 43 cents and here you know same way three uh trades for the day zero still open because the market's closed she closes out all trades at the end of the day 60 cents was the risk on profit and here uh the uh 
Holly 2.0 had 10 trades, none still open, 231, and that was the risk on profit. So you can see that. We also now have the Omni channel, and if you use the uh, latest updated version, you can actually now look at all three Hollies at the same time. So, uh, you know, po possibly we'll start using that next week to, to review these, but uh, for right now, we'll go through them this way for today. And so, uh, you know, and you can see here on this side, Holly uh, listed strategy she chooses from. At the end of the day, she goes through and she calculates, uh, you know, millions of, uh, you know, pieces of data to come up with this list, what's statistically going to be the best choices for the day. Uh, and with this crazy market, I imagine it's throwing a monkey wrench in her a little bit since it's not normal market activity. But these are the ones she came up with. And then on this side, it shows you the, the ones that, that uh, were, were called out. And uh, in this strategy, she had all longs. Uh, you know, she had two shorts to choose from, but she did not, none of those triggered. And so, uh, and, you know, once again, it tells you what time she gets in each trade, what time she gets out, if it's long or short, the strategy, the symbol, the list price, uh, entry price, what the target is, some have targets, some have timed exits, the exit price, risk off profit, risk on profit, uh, and the max profit that trade made during it. And this is the reason she got out of the trade. So, uh, you know, uh, and, and let's see here, we had uh, this one here, 26 cents and 44 cents. So since I went through that, I'm not gonna go through uh, you know too much on the actual trades on this one here you can see we had three uh short short strategies but once again uh you know she did not you know none of those triggered we did have a uh, weight watchers was a, a very nice trade uh, she did hit the target on that one uh on the long trade and uh, if you would have stayed in until the end of the day at dollar 86 profit so that trade was noteworthy and holly grail once again, we had uh, three long, three short. She only called out one short. And on that one, she made seven cents profit on uh, GPRE. And uh, her best uh, risk on trade was EVBG for 41 cents. So no, uh, no big deals there. So uh, that, that is the uh, Holly update for uh, the, the day and the week. And, you know, if you like some of this software you're seeing, some of these scanners, uh, you know, we do have the uh, software available to you. Uh, here's the link to get into the, uh, you know, subscription area where you can sign up for it. We have monthly plans, yearly plans. Uh, you know, we have a standard, uh, you know, package and we have a premium package. The premium package includes Holly and several other things. So uh, that is the one I definitely recommend to you. Uh, if you use Bullseye 15, all caps, I can save you 15% off your first month or your first year. We'd love to see you try out the software uh, and uh, you'll be a part of the team. You can always follow me at my blog at bullseyetrader.com. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter or StockTwits. If you got anything out of this video, I'd ask you to go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up. Uh, maybe drop in a comment, maybe share it. That would be awesome. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube videos. That way you'll never miss one. And Hey, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.